Field in Buffalo. Dan Schulman, Buck Martinez, and Arash Madani with you here with the Sportsnet Studios in Toronto. It is a pretty nice day down in Buffalo. As you can see, it is quite breezy, though. Wind blowing pretty hard out to left field. Luis Rojas and the New York Mets are two games out of the last playoff spot in the National League right now. And a look at their starting lineup brought to you by TD. Proud fan and official bank of the Toronto Blue Jays. The guy right at the top of the lineup has been having some good swings for the Mets in this series. And look at what he's done over the last seven games. There are four left-handed batters in the lineup today. The Mets skew to the left in their batting order. Hunchin Ryu's not used to seeing that many lefties, but he'll see a bunch of them today. Yeah, and the Mets haven't fared well against left-handed starters. They're 6-12 and 12 for the season, and Hunjin Ryu coming off a rough outing last time out to give up three home runs to the New York Yankees, two in the first inning. And he's making his 10th start. Overall, his numbers are good once again. Opponent's batting average is 222, a very respectable ERA. But I think that his fastball is going to be a key for him again today. He's got to show us that that extra day's rest might have given him a little more zip on his fastball and better command. He actually asked for an extra day's rest. He doesn't feel like he was ready to pitch yesterday, so he will start here this afternoon. Yeah, a lot of talk about that decision over the last few days, and Charlie Montoyo said that they communicated with Ryu. He asked for the extra day, so that would not allow the Blue Jays to start him on the last day of the regular season if they needed him then. He is still in line to start game one of a playoff series if they get there, and they've got the off day tomorrow to play with the glove of VR at second base. It'll scoot into right field. That'll be a leadoff base hit for McNeil. Let's check out the defense. A little bit different alignment with Gurio, Gritchick, and Jonathan Davis making his third start in right field. Espinal and VR up the middle. No Joe Panic today. Danny Jansen is behind the plate. And Kevin Bizio makes his first big league start at third base. It'll be the fourth position in which he has made starts this season. And the last time he played third base on a semi regular basis was in 2018. He made 34 starts in double A. Last year in Triple-A Buffalo, he made seven starts at third base, so he is not that dis unfamiliar with it at third base, and he's got good hands. He's a good player. And he's been taking ground balls at third base off and on for the last two weeks. The Blue Jays have known this could be a possibility. Look at the Blue Jays lineup with Biggio again hitting in the leadoff spot, but as we mentioned, playing third base. Randall Gritchick, who has hit cleanup since Bo Bichette has come back, has done a great job against lefties so far this year with an OPS just about 1,000. And wouldn't you know it, there's a lefty on the mound for the Mets this afternoon. Former number one pick, David Peterson, he's 24 years old. He was taken 20th overall in the 2017 draft out of the University of Oregon. He's a big fella. He's 6'6", weighs 240. But he's not overpowered. His fastball will be in the low 90s. He will throw fastball, changeup, slider, and a curveball occasionally. But last time out, he had a rough outing. Two innings, three hits, five earned runs, and he walked four and hit a batter. He threw 70 pitches in two innings against the Philadelphia Phillies, who are hot right now. Thrown out by a couple of steps. That's the defense is brought to you by TD, proud fan and official bank of the Toronto Blue Jays. Dominic Smith moves to left field. He's played first base in this series. And Nimmo is a very good center fielder. Conforto having a big year in right. Rosario McNeil up the middle. Robinson Chirinos, like Todd Frazier, joined the Mets August 31st. The Blue Jays know all about Chirinos. They saw him in the postseason a few years ago when he was with the Texas Rangers. 